All the Time in the World is a coming-of-age drama about a college football player who, after being injured in a game, he realizes that, 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 that football was the only reason he even came to college in the first place. And that kind of, after, after that's, that's taken away from him, um, he has to rediscover who he is and, and, and what the, the course of his life will be. I teach film at video uh, production at Crown College here in Minneapolis. Um, and uh, I just, I, I wanted to make a, a feature and use what I had, which was a camera, you know, some, some gear and students and a college campus. And so I, I thought over a summer trying to build a narrative around those uh, pieces. And, uh, and, and this is the story that, that came from that. We filmed over nine months, or nine or, or ten months, uh, because I wanted the seasons, as the seasons are changing around our, our main character, um, as he's, a, he's about to change a, into a new season of his own life, kind of a college into post-college life. So as, as that happens, I wanted the seasons, uh, that as they change ar around him, um, uh, for that to be a, a reflection of his internal uh, journey. When I set out to cast the film, um, I knew I had access to a, a number of students who, who enjoyed acting to a certain degree, and, and some faculty who had also worked in other, other student projects as well. Not that this is a, a student project, but um, there, was, there, there were students and faculty on campus who, who had acting ex experience, and some who didn't. And so I, I wanted to inc include them as much as possible. I had like a, a 20 to 30 page outline with some dialogue here and there, but it was pretty rough. An overview of where I wanted each scene to go and kind of hit, hit the different beats. And so the actors had a lot of a lot of improvisational freedom, um, which which was really exciting and kind of, you know, whatever happened happened. And I I had the mantra of if the scene worked, it was in the film. If it didn't work, it was out. A note I made for myself was I wrote the word the word restraint on my script on, on the cover, and almost every every page every scene I had that word restraint, and that was a a, a reminder that with the camera, even though it was handheld. It wasn't going to be a shaky handheld. It was going to be a very restrained and, and, and stoic and kind of almost repressed feeling in the camera work. And uh, that, was, that was part of the tone I wanted. I wanted that atmospheric tone. I wanted the music and, and the dialogue and the images to all be kind of playing the, the same tone. Um, and hopefully uh, the score can pull us through all these scenes. When I found out that I was going to be be screening at the Twin Cities Film Fest. Uh, I, was, I was excited, I mean, who wouldn't be? I think this is a, a phenomenal festival. It's a great local festival, and I'm very happy that the world premiere of my film is, is here in the Twin Cities.